All right, man, Torture Talk, Torture Talk. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. I hope y'all had a great night last night. I hope y'all got some good, good cookie in the morning or last night. You know what I'm saying? Some good filet, you know, some filet, you know, all that good stuff, man. Good morning to y'all. All right, so today I'm going to be talking about 50 Cent saying something about Rick Ross and Rick Ross is going back at 50 Cent. This comes courtesy of Chink Smooth Channel. So look, make sure y'all go subscribe to that. All right, man, let me get my spill. This is Torture Talk, the 8 a.m. show. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're not subscribed, let me work for your subscription today. Also, too, if you are a beautiful woman, single woman, Put a one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content that's absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links will be on the screen. Cash at PayPal is in the description. Also, too, they called me the Hidden Gym. I went from 1,300 subscribers to almost 10,000. I'm about to hit 10K. You know what it is? Almost, I believe I just passed a million views. You know what I'm saying? I'm so proud of this channel. Thank everybody on this channel. Everybody. From even the people that disagree with me, from the people that agree with me. We here. We here. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. We ain't gonna always agree on everything. We ain't gonna always disagree. But we agree to disagree. But when we agree, we agree. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So look, man. I know my glasses is smudgy. I got to get a smudge cleaner for these glasses. You see that? See all the smudge? You know what I'm saying? I, I don't like it. But either way, I'm going to keep my head down like this. Kind of look fire like that anyway. So look. Oh, yeah, man. Shout out to Big Kiss, man. Big Kiss. I'm going to tag you in this. Shout out to him for shouting me out on his page. I seen your video today. I actually shared it on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all go subscribe to Big Kiss. The man is working hard. He's trying to reach 20K subscribers, and we're going to help him get there. You know what I'm saying? We're going to help him get to a million. That's what it's all about. So shout out to Big Kiss, man. I love his channel, man. He be coming up with the yo, 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 yo. You know what I mean? That's my nigga right there. You know what I'm saying? We're going to probably do a joint show one day. So look, man, um, we're going to get into this clip, man. I know that. I know the intro was long. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I know I know you niggas. I know you niggas like, yo, yo, show it this joint up. We trying to get to the point. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, man. So let's get to it, man. <laughs> All right. So let's get it, man. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's. Let's, 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 let's go. Oh man, who doesn't love a good old fashioned beef between Rick Ross and 50 Cent? Now, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I'll be forgetting that these rappers have beef with them near everybody. No, I'm not talking about 50 and Rick Ross's beef. Ricky Rose and Gilly do not rock with each other. Now, on a new episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game that's dropping on Sunday, Gilly and Wallow got 50 Cent as a guest. And you guys just knew Gilly was going to take that opportunity to ask 50 about Ross. Hey, Gilly, you are petty for this move because you know 50 is going to go in on Rosé all day. And the question Gilly asked 50 wasn't even a hip-hop question. He asked him, hey, bro, why does Rosé keep talking to you about your ex chick you used to deal with? Here's what Gilly said. <sighs> I, I, I guess... I guess we all in this mode of sensationalism now, and even I do it. A lot of us do it. So I can't really blame Gilly uh, and, and, and the boy Wallow for doing that. Um, I do believe that we don't conduct ourselves pr more. We need to conduct ourselves more properly when it comes to these interviews instead of us being more, instead of us being gossip kings and queens. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know what the video, the, the, what it consists of, but I can tell you that whenever I see other ethnicities do interviews, most of the time, they're not talking about beef between people. Now, again, 
he could be talking about some real estate and uh, Bitcoin type shit on this whole with 50. Could be talking about that. I don't know. But I'm saying the highlights is always going to be the beef and the controversy. And I think that us as, how would I say this? Us as content journalists, you know what I'm saying? Or, or commentary journalists, I should say. Us as commentary journalists, we should not be always entertaining goofy stuff. You know what I'm saying? So let's keep it going. Set to 50. You know, Ross, take a shot at you a couple uh, weeks ago about a girl that you're not even with no more. Uh, and then, what is it with you and Ross that's just been going on for so long? I spent it to you, right? Nothing else works for him yeah. outside of mentioning me. When things get bad, you mention me, it gets covered further. You see TMZ is a 50 cent said this is gonna be bad for Irv Gotti's career. I get covered across the board. Yeah. They get covered on the hip hop blogs. Okay, so even if that's the case, 50, even if they do get covered on the hip hop blogs, I get what you're saying that they're getting covered across the board. I understand that you're getting covered across the board. So basically you're saying you are, you are a certified celebrity. They're just hip hop heads. But my thing is like, it doesn't really matter whether you get covered across the board and they only get covered in hip hop. It don't matter. Y'all both being covered. Now, if you want to say, well, I'm getting covered and it makes me the bigger name. Yeah, you are the bigger name. That's why you get covered across the board. And I understand what you're saying, that they're tethered to you. They leech on to you, and they don't have nothing going for themselves. I would beg to differ. I believe that Rick Ross has a lot going for himself. A lot. You know what I'm saying? I believe that he does. I believe he has a lot going on. He has a couple of things going on. Now, that doesn't mean that he's as big as you, because obviously he ain't. You, you built a whole dynasty. You know what I'm saying? But let's not act like these people can't do the same thing you do or did because you came from, you came from nothing too. remember. You know what I'm saying? And these people could get to, they could get to the same place. It's not like they can't, they make the right moves and right deals. They'll get there too. But as of now, I got to give you the grace because you are saying something that is actually, actually true. You are saying that you are the bigger name and they're tethered to you. So when they say your name, then, you know, <laughs> it goes on and they get promoted even more. That could be somebody's uh, technique. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Yeah. And you watch because I have nothing else to say. You just see it happen periodically yeah. as it goes. Yeah. You know, yeah. you see that big white elephant, yeah. that property he lives at? It costs more than the nightclubs. He's in the nightclubs. Yeah. We know what they can give you. Seen a rock. They can't pay you more than they can pay you because the room can't hold enough people for them to give you the money to, to stay there. He can stay into a squatter, holding on to the leg of the chair that they move. Mm. But that's what. Now I don't understand exactly what he's talking about in this. I'm kind of confused. I'm not gonna lie. Because at one on one hand he's saying that his his property is big, and on the other hand he's saying he can't fill up anything because he's not as popular. I'm guessing that's what he's saying. Y'all can correct me in the comments. I'm not really sure what he means by what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? I do believe he's talking about his popularity, and he can't afford. People can't afford to pay him what he's asking for, so he has to do small venues. I'm guessing that's what he's saying. I don't know. It is. It's just a part of presentation. Yeah. Come on, bro. You can see this. You don't need me to say this. You know this. Yeah. Look at it. What kind of rich nigga cut his own grass? Why are you out there cutting your own grass? <laughs> you trying to save money, nigga? You don't want to pay for the lawn to get cut, huh? Let me ask you. The AC broken in the motherfucker. 
Now Gilly and Rick Ross have exchanged words in the past. Gilly has called out Rick Ross for constantly talking about his money. And he's also called out Rick Ross for struggling to remain relevant. Now this morning... I hate when rappers do this. Like, let's be clear here. That's what I want y'all to understand, right? And I know it sounds like I'm caping for Ross. That's because I am, nigga. <laughs> nah, I'm not really caping for Ross. I'm just keeping it real. Um, you can't talk about somebody staying relevant when he has much more hits than you. That's it. He did a versus, and he did a versus against, uh, who was that? Was it 2 Chains? Who was it? I think it was two chains and he smoked him. Ross smoked him. I believe it was two chains. I believe it was two chains and two chains got smoked. But Ross would probably smoke a lot of people <laughs> when it comes to the hits he has. He has a lot of hits. I would argue that he he's up there. He's up there. I'm just going to say that he's up there. But you can't say that the man is struggling to stay relevant when he has much more hits than you. And you doing your show to stay relevant. You're doing your ready your your podcast to stay relevant. I don't I would never understand the argument of relevancy because everybody is trying to stay relevant. Me, other podcasters, your podcast, 50, everybody is trying to stay relevant. Because we want to be, we want to be seen. We want to be talked to. Everybody want to be ahead of the curve. But you saying he's struggling to stay relevant. Rick Ross is is he's a household name, bro. That's just what it is. Even with the allegations, even with the the cops, he's still a household name, bro. Sorry. Rick Ross took to Instagram to respond back to Gilly and 50 Cent. He ends up completely disregarding Gilly's life, called him a little dude, called it the Wallow Podcast. And then he also brought up a narrative about 50 Cent back in Drake and his beef against Kendrick and West Coast. Here's what Rick Ross said. Really be wanting you to lose like he just bought the Holyfield Mansion. Damn. He bought a jet. Damn. Oh no, fourth annual car show. Damn. <laughs> I just seen a clip of the Wallow show where he was interviewing 50 Cent and the other little dude asked him a question, um, small talk. But ultimately, the question that should have been asked was, you jumped out there during the beef, the West Coast versus the Canadian. And I thought Dr. Dre put you on. I thought Dr. Dre was the set. <laughs> you bro, you can't get around that one, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, bro. That's a hard clap back right there, bro. That's a hard clap back. Because he was, let's be honest here, 50 was siding with Drake. I ain't gonna sit here and act like he wasn't. He was siding with Drake. He was. You know what I'm saying? He even on Instagram, oh, this white just got this light skinned boy out here smoking y'all. Yeah, he was siding with Drake. He was. He was. Now he could have a thing with 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 because he have a thing with Ross. Who knows? But he was. I ain't gonna lie. And I like 50. I thought you was loyal to Dr. Dre. You mean you went with the Canadian over Dr. Dre? Who who you, you say changed your life? I ain't no, I thought. Loyalty, I <laughs> but you did shut the fuck up once the Canadian took the L. You got totally quiet. You did so. Since these niggas count my pockets, I'm gonna go and let them know my next move. My next move finna be Thriller in Manila 3. Mike Tyson versus Evander Holyfield 3. Once Tyson knock out Jake Paul. I'm going to get Tyson and Holyfield a fight in my front yard. I'm going to put a ring right there. And it's going to go down in my front yard. I want the judges to be Snoop Dogg, Kevin Hart, academics. You hear me? The ring going to be right there. Nigga said Snoop Dogg, Kevin Hart, and Academics. <laughs> Yo. 
<laughs> How the fuck you get Snoop Dogg and Kevin Hart at the same sentence as academics? <laughs> Yo, I don't know why that shit is funny. That's funny as shit. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> At the promised land. Now, this is something that we've discussed on this channel, especially when 50 Cent pulled up on Drake while he was in Canada. Some of you guys told me, nah, chicks, 50 is only super cool with M. He's not that close with Drake. Other people told me this is just 48 laws of power. 50 is just trolling Rick Ross again. It's certainly a very interesting point for Rick Ross to try to bring up again. And I think it's very interesting this time that even though 50 Cent was basically talking financials with Rick Ross, Ricky Rose did not fire back at him the same way he'll fire back at other people. I know Rick Ross definitely got a couple dollars. Trust me, Ross has money. Maybe he feels like he can't compete with 50 financially. This is certainly going to be very interesting once the full interview drops. Ross, I'm sorry, brother, but you just took the bait. There's a reason why Gilly released this specific footage before his interview dropped because they knew that you were going to respond to it. You guys get in the comments below. You guys think 50 was hitting on Ricky Rose and his mansion. And what do you guys think about Ricky Rose's response to 50 and Gilly? Post your comments below. Subscribe to my channel, like this video. I'll see you guys later, man. All right, man. Make sure y'all go follow Chink Smooth. I'm going to uh, put the source in the description. You know what it is. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. 50 Cent, man. He's the he's the troll god, the petty king. You know what I'm saying? I think that uh. He does do a lot of things as petty, does do a lot of things as trolling. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think that this was a real little, uh, I don't think this was trolling. I think this was more in the lines of boss talk. Like, look, you know what I'm saying? He ain't, he ain't, he ain't that guy. You know what I'm saying? And he, and he ain't portraying who he, who he really is. But my thing is like 50 Cent and, and, and Rick Ross always had an issue. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what it is. Maybe they just like oil and water with each other. I don't know why they can't just, you know, men's it. But a lot of times people say it's not even, it's not even the other side is usually 50 cent. He don't make amends with, with anybody. You know what I'm saying? He, he holds a grudge for life. You know what I'm saying? And I think that 50 cent is at the point in his life. Like, well, I don't need none of you niggas. I could say whatever I want. I could do whatever I want. I already got this. I already own that. I already know this. I already know that. So you can't tell me nothing. I think Ross is on the same scale too, not as not as, not money wise, but I think he's definitely up there. And if we're gonna talk about music, that's a great battle. If you put both of them on the stage together, that's a great battle. You know what I'm saying? So who knows? And I think that that would be a great great uh, versus. I don't think versus is even around anymore. Is it still around? I don't know, man. I don't know. I think I'm gonna do an episode about versus. I'm gonna talk about what the direction I thought they should go. They shit went into. I know a lot of people are gonna disagree with it, but I think that it would have stayed. It would have been. It would have probably been much bigger than what it is. But either way, um, yeah. And then the thing with Gilly, you can't you can't talk about that man being struggling. Even though that was two years ago, but still in all, Rick Ross. Rick Ross is just as relevant, bro. He's relevant. He, I mean, he he's already set for the rest of his life. He has platinum albums. He has multi singles. Uh, he has multi millions in his in his account. He has stupid fire songs. Like there's really nothing you can say to him, man. So either way, man, I'm out of here. Y'all have yourself a good morning, man. Make sure y'all go get y'all some pancakes, some eggs, bacon, toast. That's too much bread. Just get some pancakes. Matter of fact, just get some steak and eggs. That's it. That's all you need. I know, I know a lot of y'all like, man, that shit too expensive. And don't buy no chuck steak either. Make sure y'all go get a T-bone porterhouse, filet mignon. You know what I mean? Uh, what is that? Ribeye or a New York strip. Don't get no chuck steak. All right? All right, man. See y'all. Peace. Bye. Out of here. <laughs>